Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm good. You? <laughs> I am doing good. Better than yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah, yesterday I was very sick. <laughs> uh, really? Yeah, I can disguise it very well, but I was very sick. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I, okay. I am. I am very professional. Don't worry. <laughs> I am yeah. die, dying, but it's like, <laughs> yeah, como, okay. como la Dalesio, sí. <laughs> muerta por dentro, pero de pie, como lo gran. <laughs> ah, qué bueno, qué bueno. De plano, yeah. no, no había visto qué tenía, qué tiene o qué tenía. Tenía gripe. gripe. Bueno, tengo más o menos todavía, pero ya. Ayer fue lo, el peor día de todo, pero ya. Híjole, bueno, Se sobrevive. Bueno, en este, en este ámbito docente, uno aprende a. Sí, a sobrellevar estos grandes momentos. Qué bueno, bueno, me alegro. Entonces, sí. yo quizás porque como no tenía luz, no veía bien. Ay, es cierto, Ellen Nilsson, mucha gente sin luz, vea, pobrecito, se ve en y oscura. Hasta, eh. hasta, hasta hoy en la mañana llegó. Oh, my God. Todo el mundo reportó y hasta hoy en la mañana llegó como a las nueve, quizás. Ay, no, qué terrible. Eso, lo malo es todo lo que uno tiene a veces en la refriga. Exacto, esa es la cuestión. Que uno dice, claro. ay, no, se me va a arruinar todo. Ajá. Pero mire qué bueno. bien que ya llegó la luz. Sí, no, y ahorita ya aquí estoy en el trabajo, así que. Ay, ya, pues usted ahí en, <risa> en la segunda casa. Cabal. <risa> ok. Cabal, paso más tiempo aquí que allá, pero bueno. <risa> Exacto, así le pasa a uno. Así, ya uno, ya, yo le digo a veces, me voy a traer la cama, le digo. <risa> así ya no me voy. Cabal, cabal, es que uno a la casa de, solo llega de visita. Ajá. Yeah, it's true. I, I just come, I just come to to change my clothes and to start teaching here. And then it's like <laughs> it's like hola, ya me voy para adentro. Yeah, cabal. So we have like like 20 seconds of interaction and then I run to the office to <laughs> to teach. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, but my my song it's it's always like Mom, do you have class today? And it's like, yes, I have class. Okay, okay, okay. And then he leaves. He he knows so that I, I am um, always like on business. Yeah. Yeah, okay. but how many it, children? Children, only one. Or, no, only okay. one. Only one. Uy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really admire. I really, really admire people with more than one kid. I don't know how yeah. they do it. Yeah, I it's always hard. tell. I always tell my mother, I don't know how you did with three kids. I have one, Please. and I get crazy. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. And what about you? How many how many children do you have? Two daughters. Two daughters. Carlita? Yeah. No. No, uh Leah and Megan. Leah and Megan. And what about Carla? Do you have children? Sí, two two daughters. Two daughters. Wow. Sí. Amazing. Admirable. <laughs> <laughs> Jose Luis. Is it <laughs> <laughs> ¿Qué es eso? <laughs> Nelson. No, I don't have. <laughs> It's like no, no. <laughs> Only my dog. Ah, yeah. My that, that, <clears throat> well, if you count, if you count like that, I have my son and my husband, so I have three. <laughs> <laughs> and the dog, my son, my husband, and the dog. It's I have more three. Complicated. <laughs> yeah. The dogs and the cats. I mean, it, it is funny that you say, no, it is like, uh, no, it's just a pet. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh -uh. No, it, it, they are it's very, like a baby. they are very demanding, very yeah. demanding. Yeah, I, I can see it here with Kiara that she comes and she hits me with the head on my leg when I am not paying attention to her. Si no le pongo atención, me pega con la cabeza. Así, la pierna. <laughs> yeah, she's like a little kid. And she's always here snoring next to my desk. Mr. Horacio has... Tiene? Uh, she has uh, 11. <gasps> she's 11 years old. She's very old. Yes. But she's like a little kid. She's very, very young. A very young soul. Yes. Hor Horacio, you have two children, right? Yes. Two. One boy, one girl. One boy and one girl. The couple. Yeah. And yeah. That's, that's what I admire. I, I, I really admire people with more than one. Yeah. 
<laughs> I, I don't know how you do it. <laughs> yeah, in the previous in the previous level in the previous module, I had one student who had six kids, and I was like, "What? Six? six really? Kids. Yeah. Oh my god. Wow. And I was like, hey, maybe not. That. <laughs> It's pretty complicated. Paola, do you have kids? Good evening. Hello. Yes, teacher. I have two children. Two children. Okay. Magdiel? Yeah. Magdiel, do you have kids? No, teacher. Good evening. It's like, no, no, teacher. Ush. It's like, no. no what is it? <laughs> 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 <clears throat> no yet. No yet. No. What about uh, Rafael? Do you have children? No, good evening. Uh, no yet, teacher. No I'm yet. Single. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah, you told me the other day it's true that you were single. Yeah, it's like, no, teacher, ¿qué es? ¿Por qué entramos hablando fuerte ahora la clase? <laughs> <laughs> ¿Qué es esa violencia? No. Van a hacer que me salga de la clase. Hey, huyendo, <laughs> si no, no. No, it's like, now we are going to talk about the benefits of having kids. <laughs> it's like, nah. Mm -hmm. no. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, Blanquita. Blanquita is the, the best example. She has a very young baby. He's like one year old. A one year old baby. So, Mr. Carlos, do you have kids? Good evening. Uh, no, I don't have kids. <laughs> no, I said, no. <laughs> I, lo no. I love the way you answer. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. No, lo like... <laughs> <laughs> Y el niño, papá, porque sí que no. <laughs> Next to the camera. En realidad le aparece un niño en mi Ajá, y like, igualito, y, igualito y, ajá, casualmente yo, y, y ese niño que se trata de usted en la cámara <laughs> ok Toñito Toñito the ghost well my dear students it's a pleasure to have you here it's a pleasure to see you once again in this beautiful Wednesday and for sure I really appreciate all the homework that I received Thank you very much. I am going to take my time to check one by one and I'm going to reply to each of you for um, uh, the job that you did. So um, thank you very much for sending me your homework. I was checking many of them and many of them are very complete, right? Some others we need to correct a little bit on grammar, but it's something very, very simple, right? Simple changes that we need to make, okay? So today we are going to practice a little bit more on simple present. We are going to practice uh, activities that you do on your work, right? And we are going to work uh, in couples. We are going to have discussions uh, about the activities that you do at work, okay? So for me, it's a pleasure to receive you again. And I hope we are going to have a very nice class today, okay? So today is our class number. Uh huh. What number? Seven. Today is our class number seven. Seven. Yeah, I, I was like, huh, evaluando ahí to see if you are paying attention. So today is our class number seven. We're going to work on work activities, right? And we're going to start this class for sure, talking a little bit about the class agreements. Mr. Nelson, can you help me with that, please? Okay, class agreement number one. Practice your English as much as possible. Number two, ask for help when needed. Number three, keep your cameras on all the time. And number four, keep microphones off if we, if we are not using them. Number five, attend all your sessions on time. And number six, participate as much as possible. And number seven, keep a cooperative attitude attitude during class. Number eight, collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group. Number nine, work on the platform every day. Very good job. Thank you very much, Nelson. Work on the platform every day. Well, 
So today we are going to start our class by discussing a little bit of situations, right? If, do you know what's the meaning of if? Do you know what is the meaning of if? See? It's a conditional. conditional. It's a conditional, very good job. Ting, ting, ting. It's a conditional. It's something that you imagine, right? Ah, if I only had this, if only this and this will happen, right? It's a, it's a thing that you imagine for that is not happening right now, but if it's a condition that might happen in the future, in a short time or in a moment in your life, right? So I have here different situations. And the first one says, if you don't understand the teacher, pow, pow. what do you do? <laughs> pow, pow. <laughs> what do you do you, if you don't understand the teacher? You can ask again about the topic. Okay. If you don't understand the teacher, you can ask about the topic, right? What else can you do if you don't understand the teacher? You can... No. You, you can do the exam. Okay, but if you don't understand the teacher, how are you going to do the exam? You will not uh, learn English. You will not learn, right? If you don't understand, you will not learn, right? If you don't understand, you can ask again, right? You can ask for help. Uh, you can ask her to repeat, for example. If you don't understand the teacher, you can talk to her and ask for help, right? That's a possibility, right? Those are situations that might happen, right? What happened if you decide to start a new career? What will happen? If you decide to start a new career, what will happen? You, you don't know what you want. You don't know what you want. <laughs> okay, it's possible. Yeah, but you can do what? You learn a new things. You will learn new things. Good. You will learn new things. What else? You, you can, can have apply. more information about it. You can have more information. You can apply it to your job. Good. What else? What else can you do if you decide to start a new career? You can have better job opportunities, maybe. You can have better salary. If you have nothing to do tonight, what will you do? If you have nothing to do tonight. I can stay at the home and sleep very well. <laughs> I can stay at home and sleep. Uh -huh. Yes. If you, you don't... can create a plan for tonight. Oh, you can create a plan, right? If you have nothing to do, you can create a plan. Good. I can rest uh, all night. I can rest all night. Very good. What else? What else can you do if you have nothing to do? tonight i can watch a movie i can watch a movie right if i have nothing to do tonight maybe i will watch a movie or i will go to bed early right let's see if your english improves a lot improves is mejorar right if your english improves a lot i can understand the, the gringo <laughs> I can understand Americans, right? Very good. You can apply to another world. You can another apply world. to another job. Good. Very good. When you when you call them gringos, it's like when they call us guanacos. And it's like, I know I said. If your English improves a lot, for sure, you can have better job opportunities. You can have better opportunities in your life. And you can work in a different place with English. The next one, if your neighbors annoy, if your neighbor annoys you, you know what's the meaning of annoy? No, molestar. No. Molestar. molestar, molestar, pero molestar de, ay, gosh, my God, it's like, uh, they get on your nerves, right? Annoy is when someone gets on your nerves. It's like they have los temerarios a todo volumen. I, 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 call I, the police. <laughs> I call the police. I like los temerarios, so maybe I will sing. So no. Okay, right? But I'm the neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll call the police, right? What else? 
Would you go to their house and say like, ta, 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 neighbor, keep silent? No. Please silent. I'm, I, I am in my English class. I am in my English class. Very good. Yeah, I have done that. I have done that. You know, at the beginning of COVID, there I was teaching online, right, for my, my, my job. And there was a person who used to sell fish in a car. And it was like uh, Marisco El Blue. And he parked the car outside my house. And it was like, Marisco El Blue, le traemos, concha, no sé qué, come on. Eh? And the thing is that he left, he went out of the car and he left the car there with the, with the Marisco El Blue, blah, blah, blah. Y ahí tiene la teacher, niña, buscándolo en toda la cuadra. ¿Quién es el dueño de ese carro? Because it was right outside my window. So if the neighbor annoys you, call the police. Tell me. Teacher, uh -huh. when, when I was work at home and, uh, and the sale verduras. <laughs> <laughs> the, the vegetables, huh? Yes. Yeah, that, that was horrible, right? I think they used to know, right? Yo creo que pensaban y decían, ahorita va a empezar la clase de la LIC, ahorita va a pasar. <laughs> they started passing in front of my house. Yeah, it was so terrible. Tell me, if you run out of money, what are you going to do? Si se les acaba el dinero. If you run out of money, what will you do? I try with a credit card. You pay with a credit card. Okay. What else? What can you do if you run out of money? I will ask uh, to borrow some money to my sister. Okay. You will borrow some money from your sister. Good. What about the rest? What would you do? I can go, I can go with the TV on Corner Pocket. <laughs> you will go to the pound shop. <laughs> That's a good solution. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. I mean, you can go to the pound shop. The pound shop yeah but eating el salvador is not a good solution they say 15 dollars <laughs> what is pound shop the pound shop is a la, la tienda de empeños ah, okay. the pound shop tell me if you live to be 100 years old mm -hmm. uh -huh. if you live to be 100 years old I will be older. I will be old. I will be very old. I will be very, very old. I will be very, very, uh, how can I say, uh, annoying. I will be very annoying. I'll be like, maybe sick too, uh, teacher. Yeah, <laughs> I will be sick. Yeah, to be well, but if I get to have 100 years old, we Maybe. have hypertension, diabetes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I will be I will be picking people with a stick, right? Yo andar puyando gente con un palo. That would be me in, if I get to live 100 years old. If you have time next weekend, what are you going to do? If you have time next weekend, what will you do? I would like to go to the beach and take a rest in the hamaca. Okay, so, yeah. in, in the hammock. You would uh, like to take hammock. a rest in the hammock. Uh, in the hammock. In Thank the you. hammock. Rafael, what are you going to do if hammock. you have time next week? Rafael Alexander. Uh, I'm going to Santa Ana. You're going to go to Santa Ana, really? Yeah, yeah. Do this you is have... my mother. Oh, that's so nice. My mother lives in Santa Ana too. Are you from Santa Ana? Yes, Chachuapa. Me too. I was born in Chachuapa. Really? Me too? Yeah. <laughs> your, your face is familiar. Oh <laughs> my God. It's like, what? <laughs> I hope that is for the good. <laughs> Ojalá que sea por algo bueno. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. Where, where, where did you live? Uh, near of the ex. Uh, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I live in the center near the market. Mm, yeah, cerca del mercado, yeah. en el centro. Oh my God. Okay. Life is so, the world is very small. Definitely. Yes. 
It is. Yes. So, oriundos de Chalchuapa. I like it. That's very nice. It's a beautiful place. It's a beautiful city. No es que de ahí seamos, pero es muy linda. Visit Chalchuapa. En la Secretaría de Turismo no me paga nada por este comercial. Thank you. If you go to a party, ay, my God. If you go to a party, what will you do? Dancing. Dance. I will dance, you say. Well, many people go to eat, right? If you go to a party, you go to eat. If <laughs> you go to eat to a party. If you go abroad next year, what country will you visit? If you go abroad next year, what country will you visit? I would like to visit Mexico. Mexico. Good. What country would you like to visit, people? Uh -huh. I would like to go Egypt. To Egypt. Hey, that's yeah. nice. To Egypt. What about the rest? Paola, Horacio, Carlitos. Germany, teacher. To Germany. Good. Yep. They say it's very beautiful. What about the rest? Andrea, Blanquita, Eric, Mr. Horacio, Carlita. I would like to visit Mexico because I love Mexican food. Yes, Mexican food. And for, from Mexico, it will be two times better. Horacio? I'm going to Qatar. To Qatar, <laughs> yeah, for the World Cup. Okay, very good. Carlita? <laughs> I visit the Panama. Panama. Panama is very beautiful. Yeah. I had the opportunity to go only one time, but it's very beautiful. Okay. And the last question. Let me see. I am going to ask the last question. If you wake up late tomorrow, what will happen? If you wake up late tomorrow? I wrong. I will run, yeah, through your job. Yeah. Like, ah. for, for that is, that is so job. horrible. When you wake up late and you have so many things to do and the traffic and everything, it's like, nah. And then people at the office is like, ¿Qué tarde venimos? It's like, I know, I know I am late. They, they can but say yeah. that, but they think that. Yeah, definitely, yes. I heard uh, a teacher. Yes. Todo, todo con fabula en su contra. ¿Cómo diríamos yeah. eso? <laughs> okay. The world is against me. You say, ah, okay. the world is against me. Or in that case, if it is in general, so you say, the world goes against me. Right? Okay. Karma. <laughs> so, yes. So please put the alarm, set the alarms. If not tomorrow, you are going to be hating me. Okay, la teacher me echó la sal ayer. No, put the alarm, put two or three, right? Consejo de docente, yo pongo el celular en una mesa, así lejano. So you have to wake up and get up and go and turn it off. Yeah, but don't fall asleep again, okay? No, it's like, ah, yo lo apagué, me tiro de arriba. No, just go and shower, okay? So that's a tip. That's a tip for you to wake up early. My dear class, I am going to call the attendance and then we're going to go to the practice on simple present. Thank you very much for your answers. And remember, don't fall asleep tomorrow. That's important. Okay. Remember when you listen to your name, say here or present so I can count your attendance. Aleida? Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Andrea Sofia? Present teacher. Blanca Alejandra? Present. Carlos Eduardo? Present. Cesar Romero? Present teacher. Ellen Nielsen? Present teacher. Okay, Ellen Nielsen, if you can stay today, that would be perfect, okay? A ver si, si yeah, se puede yeah. quedar. Okay, It's Eric okay. Jose? Present teacher. Hernán Antonio? Present teacher. Horacio? Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, José Luis. Here. Juan Francisco. Juan Francisco. Yo vi a Juancito por ahí. No, se me perdió. Ok, lo soñé. 
Carlita Flores. Hi, teacher. Nelson Alberto. Here, teacher. Paola Elena. Present, teacher. Rafael Alexander. Here, teacher. Rafael Antonio. Present, teacher. Raúl Ernesto. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Wilber Alberto. Present, teacher. Jasmine Elizabeth. Okay. Uh, Jasmine, no le he podido conocer. And Magdiel. Present, teacher. Thank you very much. Okay. So let's work. Welcome, Mr. Raúl. To your class. So we're going to work a little bit on uh, some questions to practice simple present, right? Here, I have a couple of questions that I need you to read and answer, right? We are going to work with the first ones together, and then you are going to work with a different set with a, a, a group of classmates. Here, in this uh, type of sentences, we are going to give complete answers, okay? Not just uh, the answer, the time or something, no, complete answers. What time do you usually go to bed? In this case, you have to answer. I usually go to bed. I usually go to bed at 11.30 p.m. Yeah, mi horario vampiro, right? I usually go to bed at 11.30 p.m. That is my answer. What about you? What time do you go to bed, people? Use the same answer. ¿A qué hora se acuestan? I usually go to I bed usually uh, go... Go, Paola, and then Rafael. At 1 a.m. I usually go yes. to bed at... 10 p.m. At 10.30, right? As soon as I they say like, okay, have a good night. <laughs> Automatic. <laughs> Automatic. Good. Yes. At one in the morning, Rafael. Yes, I have I... A, a lot of problems here. <laughs> oh my God. And why? Do you work? Do you do homework? What What do you do? In the work, uh, there are uh, many things. Uh, to do? Yes. <gasps> my goodness, no. Y le pagan por eso. <ríe> ah, <I wish. ríe> ah, gracias, teacher, por golpearme en la herida. <ríe> yes. Oh my God, at one in the morning. That's uh, a lot of effort. No, no right? it's all the time. No. But often. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. Rafael Antonio, what time do you go to bed? What did you? What time do you go to bed? ¿A qué hora se acuesta? Um, I, I get, I, I sleep. I, I usually sleep. go to bed. I usually go to bed um, 11.30. At 11.30 p.m. Okay, same time of your teacher. Horacio? I usually go to bed at 11 p.m. At 11 p.m. Okay, after... Social media checkup, then you go to sleep. Aleida? I usually go to bed uh, at 11 p.m. At 11 p.m. And Jose Luis? I usually go to bed for what? Get out. No, I usually go to bed at? I usually go to bed at 11.45 p.m. 11.45 p.m. Okay, good, very good. What time do you usually get up in the mornings? So you say, I get up at, and then you say the time. In my case, I, would, I get up at 5 a.m. What about you? What time do you get up in the mornings? Let's see, Magdiel, what time do you get up in the morning? I get up at 4.30. 4.30? Oh my God. Yep. Very early. Hernan? I get up at 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Good. Raúl Ernesto? I get up at 
7 a.m. At 7 a.m. What a nice thing. Oh my God. La envidia ha entrado al grupo. <laughs> yeah, at 7 a.m. Ya a las 7. Ya voy como en el segundo café. Ya. <laughs> at 7 a.m. Blanquita, what time do you get up? I get up at 7 a.m. too. At 7 a.m. The next question. What do you usually have for breakfast? In this one, you are not going to answer about the time, but about what do you eat? What do you usually have for breakfast? Coffee with bread. I usually, I usually have coffee with bread. Okay, that's good. I usually have beans and eggs. That's like the Salvadorian breakfast. What do you usually have for breakfast? Who has pupusas for breakfast? Raise your hand if you have pupusas for breakfast. <laughs> Who has Sometimes. cereal for breakfast? It's for dinner. Sometimes. Cereal. I, us I usually have cereal for breakfast. Cereal for breakfast. Who has, yes. uh, let's see, eggs? Eggs and beans, right? Uh, let me see another. With cheese. With cheese, right? Let me see another type of breakfast that we have. Hot a cakes. Sandwich. Hot cakes. Oh, hot, hot, hot cakes. Who has Sandwich. hot cakes? Sandwiches, right? Well, here in El Salvador, we call sandwich to everything, right? Yeah. yeah. Pan con grema, pan con huevo, pan con café, pan con... Todo es como... ¿Y qué tiene tu pan? Nada, pan. Con plátanos también. Yeah, with banana, right? With fried banana. That's a very I common think. thing. They put beans and the fried banana. And they are very My good. My favorite. They are very good. Yes. So, se puede hacer todo un imperio vendiendo panes en la mañana. Definitely. Yo siempre he dicho que eso va a ser mi negocio cuando deje de dar clases. To sell breakfast. Yeah, because people will always eat. That's definitely. What do you often have for lunch? What do you often have for lunch? I often have chicken. What about you? I often have a meal. Meat, good. Meat. What else do you have for break for lunch? I often have a soup. Soup, hey, soup, that's very good. What else? I often have chicken soup. Chicken soup, very good. The spaghetti. I often have fish. Fish, nice. Depends on the cooking my the cooking my 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 home. Okay, depending what they have at your at your house, right? It all depends, right? If not, niña Mari que hizo ahora in the little in the little places yeah, near near your work. The, 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 the name for the the cook, cooking here for my work, Mari. Niña oh my Mari. God! <laughs> that's I think that's in general. Es un, yo creo que es una obligación. Ah, no se llama Niña Mari. No, cocina rico. No. <laughs> so, Niña Mari. Niña Mari, what do you have today? So, now they are very modern. They send you the menu on the phone, right? Al menos a nosotros nos mandan menú y toda la cosa. En WhatsApp. And I'm like, qué moderno. So what do you usually watch on TV? I usually watch on TV cartoons. Cartoons. I usually watch mm, movies. I usually watch movies. I usually watch uh, uh, sports. Sports. Good. Sports. Soccer. Mostly mostly now with the with the World I, Cup. I usually I usually Champions. watch watch the, the Cartoon Network. Cartoon Network. I do usually you... watch. Uh -huh. What do you watch? Oh, go ahead, go ahead, Tika. Uh -huh. Aleida, what do you usually watch? I usually watch uh, Discovery Channel, all the documentals for Animal Planet. <laughs> I, yeah. I love to watch that, them. Yeah, that's, that's like my, my father loves to watch documentaries. And in some cases, he's like falling asleep, like he's like... <laughs> And I, and I try to take the, the, the remote turn control. Off, don't turn and it, the TV. Uh -huh. I, and he it. says like, I'm, I'm watching it. And I'm like, oh, you're sleeping. I said, like, no, no, no. I, I was watching. And I said, like, uh -huh. ¿Qué acaba de salir? I said, about the animals. 
about the animal. For sure, it's a documentary about animals, right? So yeah, it's it's a big problem with my parents. And with my mom, she watches a series in Netflix. And she says, ¿Ya viste tal serie? Que no sé qué. And I was like, I don't have time for that. <laughs> but she's like, the new series, she watches it. Where do you sometimes go shopping? I sometimes go to shopping center. <laughs> Very good. Very good place. I sometimes... For, for me, only Saturday or, or Sunday, I go to the Mercado Central. Go to the, okay, to the market. Good. Market. Shopping, shopping center is a very good option. You find anything there. Yeah, necesitan disfraces, que no sé qué, shopping center. You can go there. What kinds of books or magazines do you often read? What kinds of books or magazines do you often read? Or you don't like to read books? Uh-huh. No, I I like to the read horror stories books. Horror stories, yeah. Horror story. Horror. Who reads the news? ¿Quién lee el periódico? No, no. No, I don't do it. No. No. Me neither. Yeah, I was like, yeah. Oh, from time to time, right? And I what like about? To read. I like uh -huh. to read uh, books about history teachers. Okay, history books. Very good. History, history books. And the last one. What kinds of music do you sometimes listen to? Uh -huh. For me, I, I like the music, the salsa, merengue, and cumbias. Okay, very good. In my case, I like all kinds of music, but reggaeton. I don't like reggaeton. I agree with you. Yeah, I like everything, even agropecuarias, right? I like all of them. Do you know which are the agropecuarias, right? Yeah. Are you go yeah, to yeah. the Bad Bunny concert? Uy, no, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Never in life. No. Yo gra gracias a Dios, no. <laughs> Agradezco a mi mamá que se tomó el ácido fólico. <laughs> No, I, I really respect if you are if you like it or not, but I personally don't like it. I consider very offensive the music, the lyrics, the yeah. the I, I don't know. I, I feel that it's pretty offensive. So, nah. Yeah. I agree so, with you. Yeah. I like music. I like music electronic. Electronic music, right? Yeah. Like no hard house. <laughs> Yeah, imagine Hernán doing the pasos prohibidos. Me han contado que así son los pasos prohibidos. I don't really know. Okay, you see Hernán huh? in the shower. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, that's pretty awesome, Hernán. I really like your attitude. Definitely, definitely. I like it. Hard house, very nice. I, I really love that. Yeah, do you like rancheras, people? Yes, teacher, Vicente Fernández. Uh -huh. Pedro Infante. Pedro Infante. Pedro Infante. Yeah. Pedro Infante. Yeah. Pedro Infante. Yeah. <laughs> Please. Pepe Aguilar. Pepe Aguilar, Pepe Aguilar right? José Alfredo Jiménez. Ah, you see that you like, well, push, no, teacher, it's like a Pepe Aguilar, no sé quién, no sé quién, uh -huh. and you have the whole list, right? Yeah. And it is funny that you say, no, I don't like it. Ajá, uh -huh. la ponen y la canta. Hmm? You see? You, your your conscious knows the lyrics right so we love in the in deep inside we love it right good thank you very much for your answers and now uh, these ones i help you answer but these ones you are going to work them with your couples right you are going to go to uh, little groups and you are going to work on these ones so please take a screenshot of the screen because you are going to use it take the screenshot please Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Screenshot. I smile because later I look horrible on the screenshots. Después hay andan los screenshots con los ojos cerrados. Take the screenshot. Thank you very much. So these are the ones that you are going to use. I am going to send you to work in groups of three and you have to ask questions to each other, okay? Se van a preguntar entre ustedes. Uh, for example, Carla, how often do you relax? Uh, what kinds of clothes do you wear, right? And you are going to 
answer uh, with your group, okay? So yeah. let's go to the group right now. And let me see. Okay, there you go. Groups of four and three. Here it is, okay? Accept the invitation to go to the groups, people, and you are going to practice the questions. Okay. Okay, okay. Accept my invitations, please, to go to the groups. I am missing all group number one. Andrea, Blanca, Cesar, Magdiel. Okay, okay, thank you very much. Okay, César, ¿te llegó la invitación para unirte al grupo? Eh, sí, le di. Te di unirme, pero acá me salió. Ok, veamos. Se me apagó la laptop. Ay, <risa> Acabo de ingresar yo. ¿En qué grupo estabas? No tenía grupo. Dos, creo que decía. Ok. También Justo a unirme iba y. Por no conectarla. <risa> Sí, ahorita lo voy a conectar. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see? Yeah. I am always pendant of that. Let's see. I am missing Blanquita. Yes, it's in the group. Cesar. Eh, Juan. Ok. Te voy a mover a otro, pero eso no lo aceptas y después te voy a mover al uno. Let's see. Hoy oh, sí, te voy a mover al uno. There you go. There you go. Okay. So all of them are practicing in the different groups. And when they come back, we are going to work on the book. We are going to work on the conversations on the book. And for sure, <clears throat> we're going to keep practicing simple present. Okay. Okay, so let's go and see how they are doing in the groups. I usually spend online um, two hours. Uh, where do you live? I live in Tango City. What do you something do on weekends? Um, my weekends is uh, visit my family. And how many hours each week do you exercise? Uh, 
I never I never do exercise. <laughs> okay. What about you, Horacia? Mm, I always uh, swear uh, short and centros. Uh, no sé uh, cómo se dice center. T-shirt. Uh, undershirt. Undershirt. Oh, undershirt. undershirt. Thank you. Thank you. Shirt. Ay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Undershirt. Se me fue una letra. Oh, okay. Undershirt. Thank you. I always wear. So you say, I always wear. wear because I always swear. Swear, yes. Swear is like, te lo juro. Right? I always wear. Good. Okay. Undershare, okay. Uh -huh, you practice, you practice yeah. with another person, yes, yeah, in okay. your work. I, I practice, practice. In, hmm? I practice in, in my work. Oh, really, too, Hernan? That's great. Uh, I practice in, in my work, but I sometimes I watch TV series. I have the opportunity to see another series in English. Also, titles in English. That's very good for the listening. Yes, for the listening. Do you like okay. uh, the series? Uh, uh, I forget uh, the name. Uh, it's about the, the nurse. The Big Bang Theory. Ah, the Big Bang Theory. I thought yes. Grace, Grace Anatomy. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's good too. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes the vocabulary is a little to my car. Okay. Yes. The next one, how do you sometimes practice English at home? I don't practice. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I don't practice. Um, how do you say? <laughs> Uh, todos los días. Every day. Every day. Every day. Okay, I don't practice every day. Yeah, but uh, Paola, do you like uh, social media, TikTok, YouTube? Yes. Okay, on TikTok there are many channels for English. Oh yes, sí. That you can check. Sí. Also on Spotify there are a lot of uh, channels for for English. On YouTube there are thousands of videos of English. And also on Facebook, there are good good videos about English. But on TikTok, there are very good. There is very good material. Yeah, far from the memes and the dance. Oh, and the pronunciation, Bev. Yes. Just the best. And vocabulary. Paraphrase. Yes. So if uh, you things. like, maybe on TikTok, just like like a couple of pages of English, and then you are going to have them on your feed. Y de ahí, si ya le da like, le van a salir en su feed. Y ya, ahí, taking advantage of the social media time, you can get a little bit of English. Ah, entonces cuenta como práctica, entonces sí. It does, indeed, it does. <laughs> now, I always say, now, we have so many good things, right? On There are a lot of audiobooks that you can listen and that you can actually practice. There are music? a lot of... English? Yes, yes. Okay. There are a lot I of like music in English. Music, eh? music. But I always say... If you listen to music, get the letters and the lyrics, right? Siempre busquen las líricas. Si no, después uno anda invocando ahí las cosas. <laughs> yeah, it's like, no, no, usted estaba invocando, right? Okay. I want you to know, no, 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 you can show me. You say, you say like, ah, oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> éxito, you say. So get the lyrics all the time. Get the lyrics. And it's okay. good because you get vocabulary, you get... Phrases, grammar, listening, and a lot of benefits, right? Ahí en internet solo pone lyrics off y le pone el nombre de la canción, and you have it. Karaoke version, and then you sing it, right? Yes. Este fue el momento de tips con Teacher Nati. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Continue, continue, continue. I'm going to go to the last group. Yep. Okay. Yeah, this is my first time in classes. 
Ese es su método de, de aprendizaje y las clases. Yeah. Which, sí. is, which is the method? Sí, YouTube, yo pensé. Teacher. Yeah, that's a very good thing. Very good. There are, there are a lot of tutorials, a lot of uh, videos yeah. of vocabulary, practice, books. <laughs> there are so many things. It is a very good resource. Yo creo que todas las social media son muy buenas si las sabemos ocupar, porque le podemos sacar muy buenos beneficios. People sí. just watch videos on YouTube and you can learn anything, anything yeah. in YouTube. Mechanics, <laughs> cooking. Yeah, TikTok as well. You can learn cooking, you can sí. learn teaching, mathematics, eh, many things. So it's yeah. very beneficial. It's very, Pretty very good. beneficial. Okay, finish talking and Okay. Is being recorded. This session is being recorded. Okay, good. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you very much for your answers. I was checking on the different groups, the good answers. I really like you to have the time to practice your English, right? Because the idea is that you produce the language, right? I always like you to actually do it. That's like the best part of, of learning. It's having the opportunity to practice. Because in many of the cases, you just listen and listen and listen to the teacher. It's like, what is the point, right? So here we have a little interaction with, for sure, verbs in simple present. What is the first verb in simple present that you have there in the conversation? Looks. Mm, verb in simple present. Oh. It's in bold. Church. Nah. Does. Okay, you have does, good, but you have it in bold. Hasta se lo puse en negrita. Cleans. Uh -huh. Cleans the Cleans. Kitchen. kitchen. Good, very good. She cleans the kitchen. Good, very good. Right? She cleans the kitchen. Very good. Cleans the kitchen. From Monday to Wednesdays. She does a really good job, right? Indeed, in effect, right? Indeed. Yeah. But doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. Jorge does. He takes orders from 10 to 2. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take orders after him? Yes, he does. Where is this conversation taking place? ¿Dónde está sucediendo esta conversación? Maybe in the, in the restaurant. restaurant. In a restaurant. In a restaurant. In a restaurant. In a restaurant. restaurant. Right? Restaurant. In a restaurant. In the kitchen of the restaurant. Good. Who are the main characters of the conversation? Who are the main characters? ¿Quiénes son los artistas principales de la conversación? Will and Orson. Will and Orson, right? Uh, which other people do they talk about? ¿De quién más hablan en la conversación? Jessica. Jorge. And George. And George. And who else? George. There is one more person. Uh, 
it says, Jorge does. He takes orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after yeah. him? Does yeah. his brother, uh -huh, the brother, right? Does his brother take orders after him? Yes, he does. Okay. Uh, new words or new vocabulary that you have in the conversation? Um, chief. Indeed. 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 Indeed is a word that you use to affirm or confirm what you are listening. For example, if you say like, ah, oh, it was a very hard day. Indeed. It's como decirle que sí, así es. En efecto. It's right? just like say, I agree with you. <clears throat> it is something similar. But indeed, in this case, it's like when you say, when you confirm or affirm what you are saying. You say, ah, the class is very, very difficult. <gasps> indeed, it is, right? CCS, en efecto lo es. So that's the meaning of indeed, right? It's like when you say like, ah, I'm very tired. Ah, indeed, me too. That is the meaning of indeed. Any other word that is new for you? Just that. Just that one. <laughs> sure? What about shift? What is the meaning of shift? Shift. shift. Turno. Turno, mm. very good. And let's see. When you say, I get it, what is the meaning? Lo tengo. <laughs> Lo tengo. Lo entendí. Lo I remember a cartoon tengo la idea. Who says, I get it, I get it. I get it, right? I get it. It's like, okay, te entiendo, comprendo. The, the, the best definition is comprendo, right? I get it. You say it's like, <laughs> no, es, lo, tengo, lo tengo, lo agarro, right? I get no, it. teacher, eh, in the cartoon, say, say so. I get tengo, it, I get it. Lo tengo, ah, pero lo tengo, lo tengo. No yeah. recuerdo que muñecos. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I kind of remember that, right? I get it, I get it, I get it, you say. Okay, so uh, let's see. When you say it does, it does is you are like a kind of a supporting the other person, right? When you say like, oh, she has a very good voice. Ah, oh, she does, right? He does, it does. It's like, si, si tiene, right? It is just to support the other person. When you say he is in charge, quien está a cargo, right? Who is in charge of cleaning it? So they are talking about the kitchen in a restaurant and it says, this kitchen looks great. It does. It's like, sí, de veras. Vea que sí. <laughs> it does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays. She does a really good job. Indeed. But doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. Jorge does. It's like, no lo hace ella, lo hace Jorge. He takes orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after him? ¿Quién lo hace después de él? Does his brother take orders after him? Yes, he does. Okay. Go with me. Hey, the kitchen looks great. Hey, the kitchen, hey, the looks, kitchen, great. Looks, hey, the kitchen looks great. Okay. Ustedes entraron y vieron aquella cocina preciosa, right? You say, oh, the ki this kitchen looks great. This, this kitchen looks great. It does. Kitchen looks great. It does. It, it does. does. Con orgullo, right? It does. It does. It does. It does. It does. Who, is it, who is in charge of cleaning it? Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays. She does a really good job. She does a really good job. Indeed. Indeed. But doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? But, but doesn't, doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning, morning, morning shift? Okay, y ahí con duda, así como, hmm, doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? Doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? Doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. No, no, she does. Jorge does. Jorge does. He takes orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. He takes he orders, orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Ah, I get it. I, I get, get it. it. I get it. And who oh, does okay. after him? And who, and who does, does after him? him? Does his brother take orders after him? 
That's his brother. Yes, he does. Yes, yes he, he does. does. He does. You see, you have to use the intonation of the questions because you are waiting for an answer, right? We cannot ask the questions like, doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? Because it doesn't sound like a question, right? Doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? And then you are waiting for an answer. And you say, no, she doesn't. Jorge does. Uh-huh. And who does after him? It's a question, right? You have to use the intonation. Does his brother take orders after him? Say, yes, he does, right? That is the magic of English, intonation. It's very important. Okay, Jose Luis and Paola, help me with the conversation. <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah, don't die, don't die. Okay, go. Okay, this kitchen looks great. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Monday to Wednesday. She does a really good job. Indeed, but this. But doesn't Jessica take order during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. For her does, it takes order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after him? Do, does his brother take the order after him? Yes, he does. Okay. Thank you very much. Now I need two more volunteers, the last ones. Vamos a ver, ¿quién quiere practicar? One, two, three. Okay, Raúl and who? I need another volunteer. Me. Okay, Rafael. No. Ah, Magdiel, okay. Rafael and Cesar later on, okay. Magdiel and Raúl, go ahead. Okay, this kitchen looks great. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Uh, Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays. She does a really good job. Indeed, but doesn't Jessica take order during the morning shift? No, she does. No, no she doesn't. No. George this is my part. Does Okay, that's his part. So he say, but doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? And then Orson goes, go. Ah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> no, she doesn't. George does. He takes order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after him? Does he brother take the orders after him? Yes, he does. Very good job. Yes, he does. Excellent job. Reactions for your friends. And last but not least, Rafael Antonio and Cesar. This chicken look great. This kitchen, kitchen. This kitchen look great. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica, is she cleaning the chicken from the Monday? Kitchen. Kitchen from Monday to Wednesday. She does a really good job. I, I, I did, but doesn't Jessica take order during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. Jorge, Jorge does. He takes order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. 10 a.m. 10 a.m. 10 a.m. I greet it. And who doesn't after him, does his brother take the order after him? Yes, he does. Very good. This is chicken. This is chicken, okay? Chicken. chicken. Kitchen is the place where you cook, okay? Okay, imagine if you say, I love kitchen sandwiches. Pones la pared, el techo. No, no. I love chicken sandwiches, right? You have to be very careful with that one. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my dear students. Great reactions 
for uh, your friends. Very good job. Yay, good job. You did a very good job. So basically on this part of the conversation, they were talking about the activities that each person does at their job. If you think about all the different activities that you have to do every day, so it takes a big list. Tell me, who cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays? Jessica. 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 Jessica cleans the kitchen, right? From Mondays to Wednesdays. What does Jorge do? He takes orders. He takes orders. Good. When does Jorge's brother take orders? When does uh huh? From from ten a.m. to two p.m. Mm, no no no. Take or the order after, after, after 2 p.m. Very good job. After 2 p.m., right? He takes orders after 2 p.m. Because Jorge goes from 10 to 2 and he goes after him. Very good job, right? That is good because you were paying attention. So this is what we were studying yesterday, simple present in general, right? And here we have four examples of sentences. Horacio, can you help me to read the examples on the board? Sure. These examples that we have here, Matt. these two and these two. Okay. Matt serves at 2 p.m. Okay, serves at 2 p.m. Serves at 2 p.m. And Paul gets to work at 1 p.m. Very good. Andrea cleans the table from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Good, and... and Maria cooks from 7 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Very good job. Maria cooks from 7 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Here you have four example sentences. If you need to write sentences with these five verbs that we have here, what type of sentences would you create? I am going to give you some minutes for you to write some sentences on your notebook using these five verbs. For sure, Try to use them in third person, right? You can say my mother, my sister, my wife, right? Uh, Jose Luis, Carlos, the teacher, right? You can use other examples. So you can actually practice third person use with he or she, okay? With work, let's just create one general example and you can create the other ones. How will you make it? ¿Cómo harían esta? With work. I work. Mm, no, with he I or am. she. He or she. He works. Uh -huh. uh, at uh, 8 I, I am. Uh -huh. She works at 8. Do you think it's correct? I am. You need a specific period of time. Ella trabaja y tendríamos que tener un periodo de tiempo. She works every day. She works every day. That's another thing. She works every day. Okay. She works every day. Or you can say she works from 7 to 3 p.m. That's another phrase. Or you can say she works at home. Okay. You have three examples there. She works every day. She works from seven to three or she works at home. That's an example. I need you to do the other ones. Open, arrive, close, and go. Arrive uh, is no. llegar. Yeah, Wilbur, your question? No, no, no. You have to write it. Yes, you have to write them on your notebook.
Okay, let me know when you finish, okay? <laughs> If any of you has finished, you can share the example with open. Me to chat. Go ahead then, Elenison. Okay, he opened its restaurant at 9 a.m. in the morning. Okay. Okay, in this case, if you have 9 a.m., you don't need to use in the morning. Okay. You say a.m. or in the morning. He opens his restaurant at 9 a.m. Very good. <clears throat> Any other example with opens? My boss opens the store at 8 a.m. Okay, my boss opens the store at 8 a.m. Okay, very good. What about arrive? The fly from LA arrives in three minutes. Okay, very good. The flight from LA <clears throat> arrives, arrives in three in minutes. minutes. Okay, very good. Any other example with arrive? Any other example with arrive? She arrives at work at 6 a.m. Okay, she arrives to work mm -hmm. at 6 a.m. Teacher Nati le dice. <laughs> yeah, she arrives to work at 6 a.m. Okay, what about close? What example do you have with close? My boss closed the door closed the store late. Okay, my boss closes the store late. Okay. Any other one? He closes the garage every night. He closes the garage every night. Very good. Because if not, huh? Buenas. <laughs> he closes the garage every night. And what about go? With go, what do you have with go? He goes at the market on weekends. He goes to, he goes to the market. Cuando tenemos un lugar es to, to the church, to the supermarket, to the uh, clinic, to the hospital. He goes to the market on weekends. Okay, si va con su mamá tiene que llevar esa bolsa tradicional, the big one, right? And you are like, echame esto ahí, hijo. And you are like, yeah. And then, and then your mother is like, ay, dame la hijo, mucho pesa. Come on. He was like, vaya por mamá, tenga. <laughs> with goes, another example with goes. He goes to the gym at five. A.M. He goes to the gym. Raúl, they say. Sí. <laughs> he goes to the gym at 5 a.m. Okay. Very good. So, you see, you have good examples using the verbs in third person form. That is very good. I can ask you to do it in the normal form, but it's a little bit simple, right? So, but I really like when you practice a little bit on this third <clears throat> form of the verbs. That was very good. Now, what we are going to do, similar to these examples, similar to these ones, you are going to talk, but not about your friend, not about uh, Maria, not about Pedrito, not about any, anyone else. You are going to talk about all the activities that you do at your work, all the things, all the things that you do. 
okay? So, uh, I am going to move a little bit here. And let me see, let me see. No, we're <coughs> going to, okay, we're going to stay with this ones. Okay, we're going to stay here. I am going to get you in couples. You are going to be in couples because you are going to report from a different person, okay? ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Nos vamos a ir a trabajar en couples, en parejas, y usted le va a contar todo lo que usted hace en su oficina, o en su trabajo, o en el lugar donde usted labora. For example, you say, I arrive at 6 a.m., I open the academy, I organize everything, I open the classrooms, I set up the computers, all the things that you do, all the activities, okay? All the activities that you do, do during your day, and the other person is going to take notes, right? It's going to take notes about your information because what you are going to do is to report, okay? Cuando volvamos, yo le voy a preguntar, por ejemplo, imagínense que César y Raúl están trabajando juntos. I will say, César, tell me about Raúl. And it's going to say, okay, Raúl goes to work at seven in the morning. Raúl cleans the office. Raúl opens the office. Raúl takes notes. He prints papers. So you have to listen, write, understand, and report. Okay? This is a very complete activity. It's a little bit difficult, but it's not impossible. Okay? You are going to use only simple present and time forms. Okay? If you want to be specific about the time, you can do it. But I think it's not possible, right? A menos que sea como un robotito que hace todos los días lo mismo a la misma hora. It's possible, right? But if not, you can say different activities. Okay? At least, at least 10 activities. Okay? Tienen que compartirle al menos 10. Porque sé que hacemos un montón de cosas. Even if you go to buy fruit outside the office, right? Because I go to buy fruit at 10 in the morning, right? Yo a las 10 de la mañana salgo a comprar fruta. Así que si van por la olímpica en la venta de fruta, ahí me van a ver. At 10 in the morning. It's like, teacher, there you are. Buying fruit. I was like, I am there. So I do that and I go to buy with Niña Silvia there. So I do that at 10 in the morning, right? I open the place at six in the morning, I close at four, and then I do many activities. At least 10, okay? At least. Mínimo al menos unas 10 actividades que hace durante todo su día. What time do you take lunch? Uh, what time do you go back to your office? What time do you uh, have meetings, right? All the things that you do in your everyday. Okay, Capichi, questions? Questions? No? No, it's okay, teacher. Okay, good. Okay, so we're going to do nine couples. Very good. Let's go. Okay, I am going to give students a couple of minutes for them to set up in the groups. They have to talk about their everyday activities at the office. So they need to share at least 10 different activities that they do, and they are going to report when they come back using simple present. So I will give them a couple of minutes for them to set up, and then I am going to go and check on the different groups.
Uh, after that, uh, I go to my office and check my emails. If okay. uh, if if there are uh, emails uh, with uh, with a problems, I try to set to solve them. Um, and check the second warehouse. We have a uh, two warehouse. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I take a shower of five period. Yeah. No, mi amor. At what time? Five, 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 no, cinco y media. Me bien five perdida, thirty. quiero despertar, quiero despertar. Five, five thirty a.m. Five thirty a.m. Yeah. So she takes takes a shower. She takes at a shower 5 at five thirty a.m. Yes. And, and you? Ya te digo. Give me a second. Okay. I. Take a shower at seven thirty a.m. Seven thirty. 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 To my office, uh huh. To my office at seven a.m. At seven a.m. Good, very yeah. good. Yeah, with the traffic, right? Horrible. Yeah. Teacher is correct. If I write, she arrives at her office at seven a.m. Ok, recuerde que cuando hablamos de un lugar no decimos she arrives at, she arrives to. Okay. She arrives to her office at, and then you use it. She arrives to her office at seven. Ok, ok. In my case, I, well, yes, I arrive to my office at a, a, 30 a.m. 30, 30, 30, 8, 8, 30, 8, 30 a.m. Yes. Yeah. Okay. 30. Yeah. Ahí tiene que poner la lengua entre sus dientes y decimos 30. 30. 30. Yeah. I remember it's like <laughs> similar when, when I, I remember a, an example, Thundercats, right? Uh -huh, the Thundercats, yeah. right? 30. Sorry, okay, right. Good. Now you remember, <laughs> right? Match it with the Thundercats and you will remember. Yeah, Very I remember, good. I remember uh, a friend always when I when I say Thundercats, no. Nah. No, it's Thundercats. It's, it's not thund Thundercats, thund it's Thundercats. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah I it's, remember that, all. That's, a, that's a very common mistake. Also, when people say thank you. Yeah. You know, la gente thank dice you. thank you or thank you. And it's thank you with the yes. <laughs> sound thing thank you and that's a very complicated thing it's like i, I hate when people say thank you and it's like oh my god it's like oh in my grandma <laughs> yeah it's very horrible okay continue people i will go to the next group thank, thank you. you my lunch at 11 11 a.m from 11 to 12 Okay. Well done. What else? Okay. After that, we I have. Mm -hmm. Sorry. No, no. That's okay. Okay. After after that, I take a time to go to the gym, just a little bit. 
It's your time. You to relax time. What's that? I'm sorry. It's your relax time. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's missing two sentences. Okay, then I come back. Mm -hmm. Work uh, at mm, 6 p.m. ¿Cómo puedo decir la empresa es negrera? <laughs> Igual que nosotros. <laughs> Re recording in progress. But it's true. <laughs> Uh, uh, I do I do a big effort there at my office. In my company, uh, it's for uh, my, uh, my my boss is Panameño. And and do you work at the American Embassy right now? And uh, the bus, uh, the bus American Embassy. I'm oh, okay. Here, okay. The Navy. I am here in in, in Comalapa. Oh my God, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's a lot of work, yeah. Yeah. You have to coordinate all those things. Oh my God. <laughs> but for in the past, I am, I am the driver, the school bus in American Embassy for the children for oh. eight years. Oh my God, yeah. Buenos <laughs> días, Don Rafael. Relativamente, yes. Yeah, I, I imagine. No English for only, only the children and the, and the Spanish. Uh huh, but they are very cute. I remember them. I have seen them like a couple of times. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good. Continue, please. I am going to go and check okay. the next group. I have I have the dinner at seven a.m. A.m. Seven p.m. P.m. The dinner at seven p.m. But the pronunciation is a.m. A.m. Seven p.m. No, ha, pero case. la pronunciación es a.m. No es a.m. 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 Sorry. Good. Continue. Continue. A.m. Okay. I will go to the next group. Trabajar a las cinco de la tarde. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then, llego a la casa a las seis de la tarde. I arrive home. I arrive home. I arrive home. At, at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Okay, 6 p.m. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Then How two, can I say? How can I see proveedores? It's the proveedores? Provider. No, no, no. It's not providers. Let me just check it out. I have this word right here. Then let me see. I have it here. Suppliers. Supplier. Ah, Suppliers. Supplier. What's the difference? What is the difference in, in providers? Provide is that you give something, but suppliers is for products. Supplier, supplier. The suppliers, I will say that. Okay, let me send it on the chat. Okay, there you have it on the chat. Supplier. Suppliers. Ah, uh, supplier. uh, okay. suppliers, yes. So suppliers okay. is for right. services and products. Mm -hmm. And providers is when you give something, right? Okay. Okay, we'll finish the 10 sentences. Okay, good. So check them out and I am going to go back. I'm going to go to the last group right now. I will come back. I continue working. 
in the in the in my accounts and I finish my my shift at sometimes at 6 p.m. But I always make a uh, extra time or overtime the uh, one hour. So that means that I finish at okay, I'm one. You finish? <laughs> almost, almost. Okay, okay, good, good, good. In my case, I blow up the projects or to the cloud. I analyze client projects. Uh, I hit lunch 12.30 p.m. I eat lunch at 12.30 p.m. Okay. Uh, I break, break, I break uh, one hour. I, I break uh, the, no sé si, si? Yo tomo un tiempo libre. Ah, I take a break. I take a I break. Take a break. break. I take a break uh, one hour. Okay, you say I take a break and you tell me what time. I take a break at one, I take a break at two. ¿A qué horas toma el break? Uh, in the lunch. Okay, after lunch. You can say I take a sí. break after lunch. After lunch. Yes. Uh, that. Okay, good, very good. Okay, Andrea, did you share yours? Yes, I saw my activities. Okay, you, you, I said, I said my I said. Okay, I will check the last group. Yes. Hello, teacher. Hello, did you finish? Casi. <clears throat> uh, almost, almost. Okay, I will check the last group. Do you have any question? Um, no, teacher. Okay, I will check okay. on the last group. Okay. okay. I buy my coffee cup. I uh, prepare to buy coffee cup. Uh, then, then check my email. Okay. Uh, take a break for 16 minutes. Okay. Did uh, you finish? I, I take. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Estamos repasando. No, that's uh -huh. good. That's good. Check it out. I am going to go to the last I... group and I will come back with you. Okay. 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 This, uh... The first A. Eight, eight, eight. The first cup of coffee. Okay. A coffee cup. A.M. Okay. You say A.M. Yeah. yeah. A.M. Good. A and turn on the life again. <laughs> yeah, it is okay. very necessary. If you don't have it, man, it's like, don't talk to me after coffee, I say. I don't drink yes, coffee. Yes, yes. You? you don't drink coffee. Don't no, tell me after the, my coffee. Yeah, don't talk to me before coffee, I say. Talk to me uh, after don't coffee. Talk to me after yeah. <laughs> No, before coffee. Before coffee. Before yeah. coffee. The before coffee, coffee no. The coffee in the office is so is, is stronger. I, I, I tell you to Paola. The, the coffee in the office is so stronger. And, and it gives you... For me, it's, it's, it's heavy. It gives you heartburns. Heartburns son agruras. Uh, heartburns. Um, I have a, a gastritis. Oh, my God. And I I can I can take a coffee. No, no. If you have if you are sick, no, you cannot do it. It's so strong. You say the coffee is strong. 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 Okay. Yeah. It's like oh my god. Yeah, like. <laughs> like mm, it is too bad. <laughs> Tengo un poquito más de agua para mi café. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No se quedaron no se quedaron pobres con el café que le pusieron. <laughs> no, lo ponen bien fuerte. 
And yeah, so for people not to take it, my God. Okay, we're going to go back to the main room. Okay, okay, welcome back. Welcome back, my dear group. Very good. I know it has been a difficult night, ah, a long night, a lot of exercises, a lot of talking, a lot of thinking, right? Enough. <laughs> I have been thinking too much. <laughs> okay, so stretch up a little bit, stretch up a little bit, yeah, uh, estirense un poquito ahí, stretch up a little bit uh, for you to come back, yeah, yeah, very good, yeah, give yourself a hug, because you love yourself, desen un abrazo porque ustedes se aman mucho, and you can do it, you can do it, <laughs> that's what I say every morning, right, le voy a compartir mi, mi estrategia de, de, de levantarme, I always do that in the morning. I just hug myself and I say, vamos Nati, tú puedes, vamos Nati. <laughs> and that's how I get up. It's like, vamos Nati, tú puedes con esto, vamos. <laughs> and I go like, ah, at five in the morning. So very good. Thank you. Thank you for sharing with your couple. And I really like when you have the opportunity to share personally with one person, with one on one. Okay. Ahí ustedes ya tienen el chance de platicar, de hablar un poco más en detalle, de expresarse un poco más. No cuando tienen como un grupo de seis que tienen que esperar a que todos hablen. Yeah. So it's pretty complicated. But I like to use the different forms. So I have nine different groups. I need volunteers to share. I need five volunteers. Hands up. Please, hands up. I have Raul. One. ¿Quién más? I have Raul. Who else? Volunteers. No se me da como no se me hagan ahí todos en la puerta porque se traba. Ajá. Ok. Paola, Carlos Eduardo. Very good. So Raul, Paola, Carlos Eduardo, Magdiel. Who else? I need one more. One more. Five, four, three, two. Lo escojo yo. Uh -huh. Thank you, Rafael Antonio. Very good. Hey, lo vi con cara de querer participar. Go ahead, Raúl. You start. Okay, I am talking about uh, Carla. Uh -huh. She told me that she she wakes up at 5 a.m. and she takes a uh, she takes a shower at 5 5:30. 30 a.m. 30, 30, <laughs> 30. 30 a.m. And she arrives to her office at 7 a.m. She takes her lunch at 12 a.m. p.m. Uh -huh. I don't remember how, how another option that I I, I to to say mediodía. At noon. Midnight, no. <laughs> Medianoche. <laughs> Escondido escondi en la cocina. <laughs> What is the other option? Noon. 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 Ok. Yeah. Hija, no viste el pan que le puse a la rata. <laughs> <laughs> the other is she finishes her job at 5.30 p.m. and she prepares her dinner uh, at 6.30 30 p.m. And the last one, she doesn't watch TV after dinner. Very good job. You did a good job reporting. Yay. <laughs> Claps for Raul, people. You see, he took the courage to be the first one, right? Todos estaban ahí. Ay, no. Ay, que lo haga otro. No. He took the courage to do it. Remember the pronunciation of 30. 30, 30, and AM, you say AM, 
You don't say I am. You say 30 at 7 30 a.m. Right? A.m. Soft and nice. Very good job, Raul. Excellent job. Let's go with Paola. Okay. I talk about Rafael. Uh, Rafael arrived to the office at 7 a.m. At 7 a.m. Uh, the first in the morning is check the water. Um, uh, some problem. He called the boss and report the problem. Then go to the office and check the mail. He drink tea at 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. Then check on, check the second warehouse. Uh -huh. After that, check the orders um, on, or the spotted parts or lubricants. Um, he take the lunch at 12 p.m. And then we'll workshop to check the order. Okay, he goes to the workshop to check the orders. Uh -huh. Okay, in the, the afternoon, in the afternoon, he meeting with the co-worker. Okay, he meets. Only that. Remember the use of the third person forms, right? He goes, he takes, he checks, right? Let's check on the verbs just for us to have a very good use of the third person form of the verbs. But the sentences were very good. Good information, Paula. Thank you very much. Yay, about Raul. Very good job. Okay. Who's next? Carlos. See? Sí? Yeah. Carlos Eduardo. Okay. Yes. I'm going to talk about Hernan. Okay. And well, he arrives at work at 30, 7.30 a.m. Mm -hmm. He opens the store uh, at 8 a.m. He checks the local to security. He collaborates with uh, co-workers. He checks the bill to send the product. He opens the emails. He cleans the, his desktop. He helps the salary person and he sends the report through email and he attends suppliers. Wow, a lot of work. Very good job, Carlos Eduardo. Very good use of the verbs. Thank you. Claps for him, reactions for your friend. Very good job. Very good job, Carlos. Very good sentences. Who's next? Yeah, right. Well, who was the next one? Magdiel. Okay. Sure. And then Rafael Antonio. I was talking, talking with Jose Luis Ramos. Mm -hmm. um, he says, he arrives to work at 5.30 a.m. And he always coordinates the route of of the drivers okay and he makes the inventory he has lunch at 12 p.m and he sets up the inventory report he prints the shop order at 6 a.m and he makes invoice every day. He has breakfast at 9 a.m. And he pays the suppliers twice a week and prepares the activities for next day. Okay, very good job. So he's in charge yeah. of the money, right? <laughs> very good job. Yeah. Thank you. Good use of the sentences, good use of the verbs. Very nice. Claps for your friend, you, please. Job. Very good job. And Mr. Rafael Antonio, go ahead. I was here to Alberto. <laughs> El suspiro. <laughs> Tengo hambre, teacher. I was, I was Nelson Antonio. He, said, 
he usually wore at at AIM. He usually breakfast at night I am. He usually more meeting in the morning. Uh, a a, a, a He has lunch at 1 p.m. He finished the work at 6, 6 p.m. He have dinner at 7 p.m. He go to the room the dog at 8 p.m. He usually go to bed at 8.30. Okay, very good. I sent on the chat the forms of the third person singular that you need to use, right? He has uh, meetings, he finishes, right? He runs, he goes to run, right? Remember to make the change on the sentences, right? Very good job, Rafael. Thank you very much for sharing. Very good job, thank you very much. Good, you see, you created a paragraph today. And if you say like, no, I soy malo in writing. You created a paragraph just now, right? A 10 line paragraph. And it was good, just with information from your friends. The learning is there, your capacity is there. I just need to explode it, definitely. I just need to, to make the best use of it. Okay, I will take the attendance for the second time. I know all of you are here, but it is, mandatory to do it. Okay, let me see. Here I go, here I go, here I go. Remember when you listen to your beautiful name, say here or present. Eh, Aleida? Here, teacher. Andrea? Present, teacher. Blanca Alejandra? Present, teacher. Carlos Eduardo? Present. Cesar Amaya? Present, teacher. Ellen Nilsson? Present teacher. Eric Jose. Present teacher. Eh, Hernan Antonio. Present teacher. Horacio Jose. Here teacher. Jose Luis Ramos. Here teacher. Thank you. Eh, Juan Francisco. Juan Francisco. Juan Francisco se fue y no volvió. Okay. Let's see. Let's continue. Nelson Alberto. Here, teacher. Paola Elena. Here, teacher. Rafael Alexander. Present, teacher. Rafael Antonio. Present, teacher. Raúl Ernesto. I'm here, teacher. Wilber Alberto. Present, teacher. Jasmine and Magdiel. Present, teacher. Thank you very much. I love that. Yeah, it's, it's a requisite. We need to have it. Well, let's go back here to the final exercise that I have for today. And this is what you were doing. <clears throat> and here I have a short story about an English teacher, right? What are we going to do? I am going to read it. <clears throat> and then you are going to give me information about the reading. Exactly the same way that you did with your classmate. You are going to say, teacher, he does this. He uh, does this. He does this other thing. He prepares this, okay? Read it, listen to me, and then you are going to give me a specific points of the person in third person, okay? Lo vamos a leer. Yo lo voy a leer en primera persona. Y ustedes me van a reportar detalles de la lectura en tercera, okay? It says, I am an English teacher and I have a big family. So I have a very busy daily routine. First, I get up every day at six o'clock, get washed and dressed and leave for work by 7.30. I get to school at eight o'clock. I prepare my lessons and then teach until noon. The other teachers and I always eat lunch and talk together in the teacher's room. I teach again in the afternoon and then I correct my students' homework and tests. After I get back home, I help my kids with their homework. I have three kids in elementary school. Their names are Matthew, John, and Susie. Then I do some exercise, eat dinner with my family, and watch TV. Before I go to bed at about 10 o'clock. 
We love to watch travel shows. Finally, I read in bed for a few minutes before I fall asleep. Okay. He's an English teacher. He has a big family. What else can you tell me about him? Normally he has a very busy daily routine. He has a very busy daily routine. What else? He gets up every day at six o'clock. Very good. He gets to school at eight o'clock. Very good. He gets to school at eight o'clock. What else? He prepares uh, his lesson and they teach until noon. Very good. He prepares his lesson and then he teaches until noon. What else? He has three kids <clears throat> in elementary school. He has three kids in he elementary has... school. Very good. He reads. Uh -huh. In the night. He reads at night. He reads at night. Specifically, he reads in bed for a few minutes before he falls asleep. What else can you tell me about him? He helps the his kids with the homework. He helps this his kids with the homework. Very good. He, he takes the lunch. He oh, takes sorry. the lunch, uh huh. Uh, with with his co-workers in the teacher's room. Very good. So let's transform the first sentence. Let's transform the first sentence. He is an English teacher and he has a big family. That is the first one. What is the first sentence? ¿Cuál es la primera oración? He is an English teacher and he has a big family. Very good. What about the next one? He has a very busy, a very daily, busy routine. daily routine. He has a very busy daily routine. Very good. The yes. next one. He, get up. he gets up yes. every day at six o'clock. He gets up every day at six o'clock. The next one. He gets, he gets wash. He gets wash. It's like when you take a shower, right? He gets wash. And the next one, and and dress. He gets wash and dressed. What about the next one? And lives for work. He lives for He lives for work by seven thirty. He lives for work by seven thirty. What about the next one? He, he gets to school, school at eight o'clock. To school at eight o'clock. He gets to school at eight o'clock. What about the next less the next he sentence? He prepares, he prepares, he prepares my her lesson until now. Until noon, until noon right? Noon. He prepares his lesson and teaches until, until noon, until right? He teaches until noon. What about the next one? The other teachers and he always uh -huh. eats lunch and talks together uh, in, in the, the teacher's, teacher's room. room. Okay, this is a very tricky sentence, right? The other teachers and him always eat lunch together, right? You don't change it, right? The other teachers and him always eat lunch and talk together, right? Porque ahí la oración es plural. Yeah. He is included in the sentence, but he is not the main character. The other teachers and him always eat lunch and talk together in the teacher's room. Good. The next one. I teach again. He, he teaches again. 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 And then he corrects my students' homework and tests. And what about the next one? After. Okay. He gets back home. He gets back home, he gets back home and he, he helps, he helps his, kids his kids with their, with their, homework. their homework. Very good. I have three kids in elementary school. He has, he he has, has three kids in elementary, elementary school. school. Very good. 
their name are Matthew, John, and Susie. Yeah, in this one, you don't change anything because you are talking about the kids, right? Their names are Matthew, yes. John, and Susie. The next one. Then I do. Then he does some, some exercise. exercise. Eat dinner. It's dinner, dinner with, with my family, family with and watches TV. <laughs> and watches TV, right? He eats dinner with his family and watches TV. Uh, before, before he goes to bed at about 10 o'clock. He goes to bed at about 10 o'clock. Very good. We love to watch travel shows. You don't change it. And... Finally, Finally, he reads, he reads he in for, a few minutes, for a few minutes before he falls, he falls asleep. 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 <laughs> Great job, students. This was a challenging exercise and you did it very well. Ya ven, hicieron un transformation exercise and you survive. Si les hubiera dicho yo, agarren este párrafo y tradúzcanlo y pónganlo en tercera persona. It would be like, oh my God, this and this. But this one, you were just analyzing. It's like, ah, he has, he goes, he prepares. So it's good because you are thinking in English and you don't have time to translate, right? Así no tienen tiempo de traducir nada. You just read, analyze, and say, right? That is the best part about this type of exercises. Well, I am not going to leave homework for tomorrow because I have to check your homework, right? Oh, yay! <laughs> no homework for tomorrow, but we are going to use... No, baby, leave that. No, no, no. Excellent. Yeah, no homework for tomorrow. So, uh, because you are going to... I am going to be checking your exercises, and uh, but tomorrow you are going to have a speaking homework. Ah for Friday. Well, my dear class, uh, that is all for today. And I am going to see you tomorrow for the next part of the class. Tomorrow, we are going to be studying. Let me just give you a quick introduction of what we're going to be doing. Tomorrow, we are going to study adverbs of frequency. Okay, adverbs of frequency. So if you can do some research about it, if you can Google a little bit, if you can go on YouTube a little bit on this topic, that will be perfect, okay? Adverbs of frequency. That is a very good friend of simple present because right now you say like, I wake up at seven, I wake, I wake up at eight, but the adverbs of frequency, like I always do, I usually, I sometimes, right? Les hice una pequeña introducción con las preguntas que estuvimos haciendo ahora. I sometimes, I usually, I often, right? But tomorrow we are going to study this. You have adverbs of definite frequency and indefinite frequency. So you have two types of adverbs. If you can analyze and study a little bit, that will be perfect, okay? So you are ready for the class. Have a beautiful night, my dear students, and I will see you tomorrow for the next session. I will stay have with Ellen Nelson. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Enjoy. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Hello, Ellen Nielsen. Okay, uh, your microphone is off. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. Are you Here the only? Are. are you the only one studying English from your work? Uh, no, it's uh, Rafael Antonio. Ah, uh, he's from your work as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, he told me that he was. Yeah, now I get it. But you were together today. <laughs> Rafael estaba yeah. en la oficina, ¿eh? Yeah, yeah. Es, eh, está ahorita en, el, en la de ellos, porque ellos tienen una eh, la, que son el departamento de drivers. Ah, ya. Yeah. Ahí imagino. Está eh, al otro lado. Ya va a venir por ahí fregando. No, sí, bueno. lo imagino. <laughs> <laughs> ok. Good, Ellen Nielsen. Eh, how have you felt in class? What is your, your expectation? What is your opinion about the classes so far? Uh, in fact, I, I, I love the classes because uh, I can learn pretty much and all my doubts, how do you say, uh, have been, has, have been, have been 
answered, Perfecto. answered or solved. Say, so, all my so. doubts have been solved or answered. Yeah, this is a present, present perfect continuous. Right? Yes, they have <laughs> been solved, right? Yeah, they have been solved. And I'm glad. I'm okay. glad about that. Okay, that's and, very good. Uh-huh. And I, I wrote down something over here. And oh, okay, I I want to ask you if there is any complete information somewhere and somewhere about the use of the ing. The because, ing. Yeah, the ing because that is getting complicated for me. Okay. Because in fact, we have the session of ing at the end of this module, right? Esa es nuestra unidad really? cuatro. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The present continuous. Okay, because I don't know when to use it. I know that gra grammar grammatically, 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 <laughs> grammatically, <laughs> grammatically. Yeah, it can well, it can be used in different ways, right? Yes, it can be used in many different ways. The most common is when you have actions that are happening on the moment, right? Yeah. Or plans yeah, yeah, that yeah, you yeah. have for the future. So yeah. you say, for example, I am traveling tomorrow, right? Mm -hmm. But it's a, a set plan for the future. And right now, for example, moment. yeah, it's actions that are happening at the moment. Por eso se llama presente continuo, porque es un, una situación en presente que está sucediendo y sigue pasando. Okay. So you say, for example, I am meeting with you. I am talking to you. You are listening to me. You are writing right now. So that is the form of uh, ING, but it has different uses, right? The most common is for present continuous, but also for future situation or future agreements, right? I am cooking with you tomorrow. I am visiting my mother, right? Those are actions that are going to be happening in a moment in the future, right? Son cosas que van a estar pasando en un momento específico del futuro. Okay, can I use uh, ING like a future? Yes. Like a Okay. In, in future okay. sentences, también. Uh -huh. So you say, I will be traveling tomorrow. Voy a estar viajando mañana. So, ING es el, el, el uso de ando, endo para nosotros Exacto. en Spanish, right? Es como el, el, you say, el comiendo, jugando, right? So that is playing, running, sleeping. That is like the best way to, to, to analyze it and to understand it. That is like, uh -huh. voy a estar viajando, voy a estar visitando a mi mamá, right? I am going to be visiting my mother. So that okay. is like the main use of the ING form. And in fact, that is our unit number four. Esa es nuestra unidad final de este módulo. Okay, perfect. And it is good because we're going to be developing that. <laughs> so, Ellen Nielsen, something specific that you need to practice uh, on? Yeah, speaking. <laughs> speaking, right? A lot yeah, of speaking. Be, yeah, because, uh, you know, in my mind, I have a lot of, a thousand of words, <laughs> but in the moment when I can speak, all these words, all the thousand of words disappears. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, okay. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's like, yeah, I'm going to say this and this and this. And when you say like, okay, and then Nilsson, and then you get you go blank right and yeah. it happens it happens a lot right even with me right i am such an experienced teacher and in some cases it's like nothing what is your opinion it's like ah. <laughs> and then you panic yeah. and then you don't say anything right but it is it is good so a lot of speaking and what uh, techniques are you using for speaking i don't know uh, i think about everything uh, I don't know, it, it's uh, different topics because, you know, uh, I worked with uh, American people mm -hmm. and sometimes they they are and the most uh, are pilots mm -hmm. and crew on, on, in, of the planes and they, they, they need they need um, information. They need uh, uh, ask for fuel, for example, and or or they are they make they make questions. Uh -huh. And uh, in this moment, how I, how how I, how will I respond <laughs> them? And, 
Yeah, it, it is it is a difficult situation when you get on the spot. The question is like, yeah, dígame tal cosa, and it's like, oh, mm -hmm. my God. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. After I'll, that, uh -huh. after that, I I I think and and I'm thinking about that and all the words. <laughs> Just them. Them. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so. so you need you need to take some time to stop, analyze, uh, revise, and then answer. Right, you know something uh, that I always recommend, for example, in your case that you have a, a good bunch of vocabulary, uh, in WhatsApp, for example, mm -hmm. you can create a group with your wife, for example, right? Hace un grupo okay. con su esposa y ahí la borra, vea. Y le queda el, el grupo solo de usted con usted, vea. Uh -huh. And you can record voice notes. Puede grabar okay. notas de audio, contando lo que pasó en el día, qué fue lo que hizo, qué fue lo más difícil. And that is going to help you to practice all the time, okay? Si de repente tiene un tiempo libre, agarra el teléfono y dice, okay, uh, uh, I want to talk about this and this, and, and then you share, okay? Y de ahí, book, la, la guarda. Y usted se puede ir oyendo, se puede ir como analizando, así como, hey, qué feo soné con esa palabra, vea. O esa palabra no es así, vea. And it helps a lot. So you get this fluency at the moment of speaking. Yeah. You yeah. can record about anything. Si usted quiere hablar acerca de lo que viene a comprar al súper, de lo que está haciendo en el momento, de lo que acaba de hacer, algo que acaba de pasar, anything. You can just record a voice note about anything. Okay? Or, Puede... read, or read out loud, could be. You can read out loud, but what works with the voice notes is that you can listen again. Uh -huh. Lo bueno de las notas de voz es que usted se puede escuchar usted mismo después. Y es así sí. como, siempre les digo, hagan un grupo con alguien y de ahí eliminen a ese alguien y les queda solo el, el chat para ustedes mismos. Uh -huh. Y eh, ahí puede ir grabando esas notas de voz. Also, you can get a book and you can read out loud. You can okay. read phrases, you can read things. You can also listen to podcasts. Do you like podcasts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah or TED Talks. You can also listen yeah. to TED Talks and, or, or talks in English, right? And for you can, or, uh, yeah, news, American radios, uh, yeah, any any type of uh, material. Or if you like, for example, series, you can mm -hmm. pause the series and you can repeat the phrases that they said. Okay. Okay. Cuando pone la 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 serie, pone por ejemplo una frase que ellos dijeron. De ahí la retrocede, la repite, and then you can you can do it like that. So you can use a lot of English words, English slangs from series. Okay. It works a lot. And for sure, audios. You can look for many different audios in YouTube, right? There is a site that it's called, I think it's English TV. I am. I can mm -hmm. send you the link. It has a lot of questions and answers for you to listen okay. and practice. So that can work a lot, but the audios work very well. So you okay. can listen to yourself and say like, I know, que feo hable. <laughs> it's like, uy, no, que esa palabra no es así. And then you can start yeah. correcting. You can start self-correcting, right? Okay. Igual a partir de la otra semana ya le voy a hacer que hagan audios para el grupo, así que ahí, you can start practicing. Yeah, okay, okay. That would be, that would be like the, the preview. Now you know. Okay. okay, well, Ellen Nilsson, I really appreciate your time. Thank you for staying with me. I am going to share whatever link that I get to practice speaking okay. and so you can use it, okay? okay? Have a wonderful night. Enjoy there at your work. Don't fall asleep. <laughs> Okay, and say hello to Ra to Rafael. Okay, thank you, teacher. Thank bye you very bye. much. Bye bye. Have a good night. Have a good one. Thank you. Thank bye you. bye. Bye. Okay, that's it. Have a good night.